Hello everybody, we are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild, uh, back on the Cape Buffalo hunting. We are actually going to be starting up a herd management grind for the Cape Buffalo to try and get a super rare as well as get a couple of leucistics in general because I don't have one as of now. And it's a trophy that I've always wanted and if we could manage to get it to be a diamond as well, that would just be insane. Now, Cape Buffaloes naturally give a decent amount of level 9s, so... I can only imagine that we should be able to make these things turn into the most insane diamond farm of any herd management grind that we've done here on the channel. Provided we can actually do it properly and figure out what levels we need to leave, then this could be pretty insane. Let's go ahead and take down this little mythical right here. As I don't think we should shoot more than one since there is a, oh, already some hunting pressure here. Uh, the last thing I would want to do is accidentally delete this zone since uh, we're going to be trying to manage these zones along the coast first. I think my goal is going to be to try and shoot down some of these zones and then make like these zones up here some of my main zones eventually. We'll see how it works, but either way, we got to start shooting them. Not a bad start to the day with a uh, beautiful mythical buffalo. I also did want to mention I've decided that my loadout for this grind is going to be the 300 as my primary rifle. Uh, the 470 for the close range encounters with attacking buffalo, and then of course the 22 to do the 22 trick if need be. Then I've also got of course like the med kits and our tents with us as well. You know, to be honest, I don't even know what levels we should be leaving. I'm going to assume that for sure fives and then maybe level sixes as well. Uh, let me know if you guys have done a herd management grind for Cape Buffaloes before because... It's definitely something that's going to be quite new to me, and I'm not sure what levels we should be leaving. I'm going to assume level 6s and 5s, since I don't believe the male buffalo can be anywhere below the 5. Maybe they can be a 4, but if they can, it's definitely not common. So, I'm thinking we leave 5s and 6s and anything that spawns that's lower than that as well. Let's go ahead and take down this mythical right here. And then uh, slap a tent down right behind us. And as they're running away, let's just get down this guy right here. Drop a couple of shots into him, because that is a, a nice level 7 that I would love to get down if we can. And we got some more running towards us, but I don't believe any of these are anything too crazy. We'll leave that 6 for now and uh, see if we need to kill them off later, possibly. There's our level 8. 140.97 is actually not a bad one either, so that's pretty nice. Uh, this other one's just a 7, but still got to get it. I'm really curious when we're going to start seeing our first diamonds and rares popping up. I, I really want to get some nice rare buffalo, which is, like I said, the primary reason for even starting this grind up, because we don't have a good rare cape buffalo besides, I think, like a small level 7 albino, and I'd like to get something a little bit bigger. Okay, that might be one of the biggest mythical cape buffalo that I've ever seen. That has a minimum estimate of 146. That, that is a monster right there for a level 8. That is definitely one we need to take down as soon as we can. And uh, this might be our opportunity right here. And just like that, we got him down. Beautiful. You love to see it. And we're being attacked by a level 7, of course. I, I don't want to shoot it because I would risk deleting the zone. And I mean, that's the last thing that we want is to delete this zone after we uh, just realize it has a ton of capes in it. So I think what I'm going to have to do is grab this thing and then move down the beach a little bit. And I will set up our tent and stuff. That is huge for a mythical. Oh my gosh. 148.29. That is, that is just crazy. That is such a monster. Well, let's get a shot lined up on this buffalo right here and see if we can get it down quickly. That is probably going to be a good shot. And even if it wasn't... We did get it to go aggressive, so that will give us an opportunity to uh, take another shot if need be. Let's uh, plop the tent down as we wait for him to come over here, because it might take him a little bit to run all this distance, so we can at least get some time to toss this stuff up, and it looks like he died, actually, so e even better. There's our little level 7, 125, with a nice little single lung shot. Let's, uh, let's move along. There is a pretty nice cluster of zones up here that we're going to be seeing soon. This is probably going to be one of the areas that I try to frequent quite often. Because I could totally see this working with like a three tent setup where I place it on top of the zones. And uh, just am able to take them all out hopefully in a, uh, a pretty timely manner. 
Yeah, I think I got an idea for this area. We're not going to be able to shoot any this time around as I got to get this set up and tested first, but I definitely think that we could have a pretty insanely efficient setup at this little cluster of zones here. You know, I think that this actually could end up working out pretty good. So what I've done is I've got the initial tent right here that we fast travel to. And then I've got a claiming tent on both of these zones. So what I'm going to do is shoot the buffalo out of both of these. And then we will fast travel down here and shoot the buffalo out of this zone. And then go through and claim them all. And I think that's going to work out pretty well. Uh, we got a good level 7 right there. We got a couple 6s as well. I'm starting to think that maybe we will end up having to shoot level 6s in this grind because it seems like there's a lot of them that show up. I have noticed a ton of level 6s and I, I am starting to think that we're going to have to only stack level 5s and shoot all of the 6s, 7s, 8s, and then of course 9s once we get done with the actual stacking phase. Let's go ahead and pop this one. Since it does seem pretty likely that we will need to kill sixes in this grind. Now we go down to this far zone, which is going to be a little bit harder to hunt as they are quite a uh, good distance away. So that's a little bit unfortunate, but you know, it is what it is. Gotta do what you gotta do to make the grind efficient. And in this case, it's gonna be long range shots. So here's the other level six from the herd that was close to us. Let's just go ahead and pop that guy and watch them bug out in the water. Interesting. You know, I have no clue if we are even going to be able to lame that thing or get it down. It seems like it's kind of buggy. It may get stuck out in the water. Who knows at this point? There he is. And down he goes. That should be good enough right there. Man, we had a lot of capes down in this area. That is actually pretty nice. This is going to be a good area to grind. I can already tell this is going to be one of our better areas. This should be that level 7, and it is indeed. Let's jump back to the tripod and take down the ones in the first zone that we were at, since we have not had a chance to shoot them yet. So that's a level 7 right there. I think he's the one that we're going to have to take down if we can. You know, I think I know what we got to do here. That guy is hit pretty good, but I don't think it's going to take him down. It was kind of a bad angle, but if we can just fast travel over and then blast it with the 470, that would be amazing. And didn't exactly work how I thought it would. Well, maybe that'll be enough to take him down. In the meantime, while we wait for them to die, let's grab this guy right here and oh gosh. Oh, why was that so loud? That nearly gave me a heart attack. Holy. And there it is. We did get it with <laughs> six shots. So not, not exactly the best shooting in the world. You know, I am seeing a lot of level six. It's like an absolute ton as we're continuing our hunt. And man, it's really making me curious on what we're going to have to do with uh, leaving lower levels. Are we going to have to only leave fives? Are we going to leave maybe the small sixes and the fives? I, I really don't know what to do at this point. It, it's a little bit of a mystery as to what we're going to need to do because I've, I've never tried it with capes and they seem to be a very odd one. I, I have yet to see a level five. Well, actually, I think we saw one level five and I've seen a ton of sixes. So I, I feel like we should be shooting the sixes, but at the same time, like, I don't see hardly any fives. So I really don't know at this point. It, it's going to be interesting to kind of figure this out as we go. I think what we're going to do for now is kill the larger level sixes and leave the smaller ones possibly. I think that might be the best way to do it since I'm seeing a ton of sixes and I, I want to be on the safe side. So I think we will leave all of the smaller sixes and kill the bigger sixes. But if you guys have done herd management for Buffalo before, again, leave a comment down below and uh, let me know how you were doing it on your grind. All right, everybody, since we ended up getting our Revontuli Great One Moose uh, quite a while ago, I, I think it's about time we do the giveaway for the PlayStation gift card because I told you guys that whenever we got our first uh, fabled fur-type Great One Moose, 
that I would end up doing a giveaway and I've been forgetting to put it in the video so we're gonna do it in this one as always leave a comment down below letting me know a video idea that you have for me to make here on the channel the most unique and uh, creative video idea will end up winning and get the PlayStation gift card now it's gonna be I believe a $25 gift card if I'm not mistaken yeah, just checked and it is a $25 PlayStation Store gift card, so if you guys want a chance to win that, be sure to leave a comment down below with a video idea that you think is unique and creative. I will respond to the winner's comment as well as pinning it on the uh, comment section and uh, then giving you the further uh, information to get your code. So if you guys want a chance to win, be sure to enter in the comments down below. But down the line, we will do some more for Xbox as well as uh, PC. But right now we just have the PlayStation 1, but uh, later on we will do some other giveaways as well. But for now, this is what we've got. So if you want a chance to win, be sure to enter. Well, there's a level 7. Let's see if we can take that guy down. I don't know if we're going to be able to get more than one. Uh, I saw a couple level 6s, but I think they're both the smaller horns, if I'm not mistaken. To be honest, I don't know very well what the difference is between the two horn variations for level 6s. So... Might take us a little bit of time to get that down, but we just got him down, so I guess that's good. So I think since I'm going to be doing a lot of shooting Cape Buffalo uh, in the near future, we're probably not going to show everything in this video. I think what we're going to do is probably just look around for zones, and if we find anything notable, then we'll uh, include that in the video. So I decided to go down this coastline, and we ended up finding a few more zones, as you guys can see here. This was a solo zone, so I ended up getting deleted the second that we killed the uh, buffalo, but we did find a few more zones, and a couple of them had a decent bit of buffalo. So I'd say we're off to a pretty good start. We've worked pretty much this entire coast here, and I uh, got some decent progress going. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. That is going to be it for today. If you enjoyed it, leave a comment down below letting me know you did. And uh, also, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and also turn notifications on so that you guys will never miss any of the future uploads. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace!